What's up YouTube? The Rock Studio here. I'm going to do a quick video on how to repair and maintain your American DJ haze generator. Start off by unplugging the unit, removing all of these screws from the outside, the small ones, and then unscrew the filler cap. At this point the cover should lift right off. I've already done a little bit of maintenance on this unit. What I've done is replaced the air tube with this clear quarter inch inner diameter air tube from Home Depot. The original tube had disintegrated. That still didn't fix my problem. I was still getting a very small amount of haze from the unit, so I had to dig deeper. So while I was figuring out what the problem was, this is what I did. With the strong Phillips head screwdriver, put a lot of downward force on these top screws. They're going to be really stiff from heating and cooling so many times, it's going to be very difficult to get out. But if you put tons of down pressure while you turn, you can get them. Just don't use an electric screwdriver. Make sure you do it by hand. As I'm taking these screws out, I want to say that you'll be able to repair a lot of small compressors using the same technique. For instance, if you're doing airbrushing, or if you've got a small compressor, maybe for um, you know, like a air tool or something, you might be able to use these same steps to repair and uh, maintain that pump. This is just a basic air pump. When you've got all six screws loose, you can remove the top of the compressor. And just set it over here. Make sure the screws don't fall in. I'm going to put the filler cap cover back on so nothing falls in there. Now looking at the top of the compressor, there's four screws on this cast aluminum plate. Remove those. This plate holds on the rubber diaphragm that pumps the air out of the compressor and into the uh, oil tank. When I first popped this off I noticed that the rubber gasket had been split along the edge. I tried to repair it with a little bit of epoxy but it didn't hold. Then I realized that I could buy a replacement part from American DJ for about eight bucks. When you get this top plate off you might find that the diaphragm is stuck and that's easy to solve. You grab a small screwdriver like this there's a small dimple here on the side in the housing and you can get underneath the diaphragm. I've already kind of taken this one out so it's it's loose but yours might be stuck in there. Here is the rubber gasket. I call it a diaphragm. The parts list on American DJ's website calls it a gasket so anyway it's flexible rubber it's got fiberglass inside of it and mine was split really bad you can see here along the edge. Uh, it definitely needs to be replaced and this is a consumable part this thing should be replaced kind of regularly as just your maintenance on the unit. So I've got my new rubber gasket here. I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the cover plate. There's one other consumable part that we're going to be replacing in this video. It's the small rubber gasket that goes in the top. But first I'm going to put this back in place. Alright, snug these screws down. Just kind of remember how tight they are when you pull them out. Alright, that looks good. Now grab the top of the compressor and take the six loose screws out and put them somewhere safe because we're going to flip it over. For ease of doing this next step, I'm going to remove the uh, air hose from here. It's a little difficult to do without a plier. Now flip over the top of the compressor. You'll see there's four screws in here and there's a little rubber dimple coming out. This is part of the piece we're going to replace. So remove these four screws. Now I'm going to gently remove this inside plate. And flip it over. You'll see there's a lot of uh, distressing going on here. This is where the air comes out of the cylinder and actually feeds to your air hose. It's got a paper gasket along the top. Let's remove this old small gasket, the clear one clean off any schmutz that's inside there. Take the brand new small clear rubber gasket, put it in the hole. Make sure that it's all the way through on the back side. Now reassemble. Now remember when this thing heats up and cools and heats and cools these screws get really tight. I'm going to put mine in kind of like a medium tightness. It's got to be an airtight seal but I'm not trying to go he-man on these things. So I'll put them like a medium tightness and I'll put this back on. I'm going to reconnect the air hose. Now before I put the lid back on I want to point out this device is so simple. 
that you can really easily troubleshoot. The only moving parts here, you've got this DC brushless fan that pushes air across the unit over the oil tank, pushes the haze out. The air compressor simply pumps air into the tank. So if you're not getting haze, there's only a couple things that can go wrong. Uh, it's easy to repair this compressor and you can buy a brand new one. The circuitry is really simple. If you're having a problem and you think it might be the circuitry, make sure the unit's unplugged. Look for loose solders, broken solders, or rusted components and replace them. Make sure all these wires are tight down here where they join into the circuit board. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you have a good day. Hope you have good luck in all that you do. It looks pretty good. It's making quite a bit more haze than it was before the repair. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching.